Well, good evening, everyone. How is everyone this evening? It is a Friday evening, and I would either be doing one of two things on a Friday evening. Number one, I would be coaching football, but since high school football is out of season right now, I will not be coaching football on a Friday night, or I'd be going to church on a Friday night. And I can't do that either because we are all locked in. So since we are locked in, it's Friday night. I thought I would break down some word for you, give you a little bit of inspiration and some comfort in this crazy situation that we're in with this virus. So hopefully this will um, inspire you and, and give you some hope to just keep pushing on. I'd like to come out of Proverbs 3, um, 5 and 6. Again, that is Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. And I'm going to look it up on my phone here. I've got my sword app. Oh, there's my beautiful wife. I've got my sword app here. And I go to, as you can see, all the scriptures right there, or the Bible books. I go to Proverbs. I press on 3 and verse 5. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct our paths. Or I like to say, make our path straight. But let's go ahead and break that down a little bit. The first order that he gives us is to trust. We need to trust his plan, that he is in control. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So let's break down trust a little bit. Um, at Tacoma Christian Center, we have our theme for 2020, and it is the Lord's team in 2020. And as a football coach, it is very important that you trust in the team and making sure that you know everyone can do their job from the trainer to the guys on the bench to the starting 11 on offense, the starting 11 on defense, and the coaching staff. We have to be able to trust that all of us will do our job. Um, here at the Lord's team, we could break it down like this. Um, number one, God is on the team of course jesus the holy spirit the angels and us the five of those entities make up god's team and so we have to trust in the lord with all your heart so if we're going to trust that's the first thing we have to do in the scripture is trust that god is in control amen the second thing he tells us is who are we going to trust who are we supposed to trust and we're supposed to trust the Lord, that he knows what he's doing, that he is in control. Trust in the Lord. That's the first four words of the scripture. Trust in the Lord. And as we're trusting in the Lord, it also says, lean not on your own understanding. Now, where I come from in Gig Harbor, we like to say, don't put your two cents worth. I don't need your two cents worth. God's got it. He's in control. Lean not on your own understanding. In other words, don't say anything. Don't question it. Don't think about it. Just go with it. Know that God is in control. All right, here we go. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall make your path straight. Now, it also says in the scripture, trust the Lord with all your heart. You've got to put everything you have. You can't just be halfway in. You can't just be partially in. You've got to be all the way in. You've got to acknowledge God with your whole heart. And then, as we're leaning not onto our understanding, we don't have to understand it. We don't have to understand and know what God's got planned. We just have to know that God is in control and he has something planned for us. This virus, this COVID-19 is going to run its course and we're going to get through it. We just have to understand that we are not to lean on our own understandings. We have to acknowledge him in all our ways and he will guide us through our path. Amen. Now let's go ahead and finish this scripture. In all your ways, acknowledge him. In everything we do in life, we need to acknowledge him. We need to acknowledge him. I'll say it again. We need to acknowledge him. How do we acknowledge him? What are some ways 
that we can acknowledge him? Well, number one is through our prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we acknowledge him. We understand that he is the creator and sustainer of life. That he is the alpha and the omega. That he is the beginning and the end. That's one way. Secondly, how do we, how do we acknowledge him here on this earth? Through our praise and worship. We sing praises unto the Lord. We worship unto him. Lift your hands and sing hallelujah when you praise the Lord. Don't sit back. Don't just, you know, cross your hands. Got a good beat. Feels pretty good. Lift your hands up and sing hallelujah to the Lord. How else do we uh, acknowledge him? Well, I know that at Tacoma Christian Center, uh, there's some gals that like to dance. And they dance before the Lord. And that's okay. You can dance before the Lord. Dance like King David danced. As long as you're worshiping your God in spirit and in truth, you just keep on going. You just keep on praising the Lord. Can't stop, won't stop. I can't stop fighting until the battle is won. Now, we're in a battle, folks. Don't, don't think that you're not, we are not in a battle. We are in a battle. But we have to trust in the Lord that he's in the battle as well. With all our heart. Lean not on to thine understanding, and in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Trust that God is in control. Trust that God knows what he's doing. And trust that we're all going to get through this together. I hope this was a little bit of inspiration. It wasn't very long, but sometimes... It's not about the length. It's about the substance. I hope you guys got something this evening. I'm praying for everybody. I'm praying for this thing to get over. And I am trusting in the Lord with all my heart. And I am leaning not unto my own understanding. And in all my ways, I will acknowledge him. And I will let him make my path straight. God bless you and have a great evening.